almost two to three times that for me. Almost six years. And they are close to us. We shared the gospel with this couple before years back. They came to know Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. But the wife, she was on ICU. It seems like hopeless. We are praying for them. But we pray for the husband. We are praying for the family. But hope give us a reason to live. Whatever happened in this world, if we have just Christ in our life, it's like a victory. It's not a defeat. Because hope motivates us to keep going. Every time I will see people, like even though they, 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 are, they are experiencing like pain or sickness in their, in their body, but they are still serving the world. Because hope motivates us to keep going. Because without hope, we will give up. Sometimes it's easy for us to give up. It's easy for us just to throw uh, the, the, the white tongue and surrender. In this world, yes, we have a lot of challenges. Probably you're already hopeless for your children. Because they are running away, probably your, 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 your relationship to other persons, to other people. But hope motivates us to keep going. To keep going. When you are always looking for something, that there is something will happen. And remember the story of Lucy and Linus. Or Linus. I give you this illustration. And one of the cartoon Lucy and Linus were sitting in front of the television. So when Lucy said to Linus, uh, go get me a glass of water, she said. And Linus looked surprised and he said, why should I do anything for you? You never do anything for me. And then Lucy said, you know what, Linus, on your 75th birthday, promise. I will bake you a cake. And, Li and, and Linus got up, headed to the kitchen and said, Life is more pleasant when you have something to look forward to. Beloved Lord, when I was a child, I always looking forward for Christmas Day. Because I know I will receive a lot of gifts. A lot of us looking forward. Especially in the Philippines, you have now 13 month pay, right? And another, a lot of a Christmas a package. Every Christmas, for, the, for many employees. But you know what? The most expectation and the most hope that we must be in our heart is what Christ is doing in our lives. So Christmas, the hope found in Jesus Christ. Our hope is only found in the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to end this message today. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things over, the evidence of things not seen. In the New Living Translation said, faith shows the reality of what we have Hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. Do you have hope? Do you have hope? Amen. Ask yourself. I will not ask you publicly. Ask yourself, do you have hope? What if you were to pass from this life into the next? Do you have hope of eternal life? Do you have of eternal life? This coming Friday, I will, I will, I will be speaking to an 85th birthday celebration of one of our members here in Newton. 85th birthday. It, it, it's a celebration. It's, it's, it's a God's gift. Uh, a gift of life. Because our life here on earth is very limited. Our life here on earth is very limited. And the Bible says, 70 years is the average years. But given to each one. I hope and pray that I will reach 70 years. I hope and pray. If you are over 70 years, and I, how many, how old are you now? 71? 
you have already one year to blow bonus from the Lord. That's one year blessing from the Lord. If you are 75, you have five years bonus from God. You have you have years in the bonus from God. And what is your life in the Lord right now? If our life if our life here on earth is, is the average 70 years, what are you doing for your life? Do you want to give it to Jesus and serve the Lord? Compared to the life that is promised in heaven, how many years in heaven? Eternity. Eternity. No time frame for the rest, for eternity. We will be with the Lord compared to this world. Where do you want to spend your life? In this world? 70 years? Or years that is no limit when you go to heaven? That will only attain if you have just Christ in your heart as your Lord and Savior. And the second question, do you know that you want to spend eternity with God forever? You will only know that if sure 100% that you already received the Lord Jesus Christ. You can know this Jesus Christ died and rose again. You may have find peace. May the Lord bless your heart. May the Lord continue to, as you celebrate this Christmas, it's not about the feasting. It is not about the food. It's not about a, a good clothes or a good or, or, or a party. It is about we celebrate what Christ did for us. He came here in this world. That's the message. God is with us. Can you imagine if God is with you because you receive Him as your Lord and Savior? It means whatever will happen, you are being saved in the hands of God. Let's pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this message that our hope that we have only found in Jesus Christ. And thank you, Heavenly Father, for the message. And even thank you for the life of Anna. She is really a good example for us that he, that she, she able, Lord, to, uh, to give her life to you. And Father God, her commitment to you. And even the example of her hope and her faith in you. And Father God, today I pray that you will bless this word into our heart. For the, for the next 16 days before Christmas, Prepare our heart, O Lord. The most important preparation is not about the gift giving. The important preparation for Christmas is not about is not about material things or the commercialism of Christmas. But the most important uh, preparation is the preparation of the heart. The preparation of our spiritual life in you. So Father God, I pray that you will bless your word. And today, before we end this message, while every head bow, please, every eye close, I want to extend a short invitation. You are here today, and you will say, thank you for the message of salvation. Pastorino, thank you that, giving, uh, that crystallized to me the importance of receiving the Lord Jesus Christ in my heart as my Lord and Savior. If you have decided today, you will say, Today, I want to commit my life to Jesus Christ. I want to accept Him as my Lord and Savior. If that is your decision today, you want to accept Jesus Christ, I will ask you to raise your hand. I will pray for you at every head bow, please. Every eye close. Is there anyone today you want to open your heart to Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Please raise your hand. I'll pray for you. Is there anyone today? Amen. Thank you. God bless your heart. Is there anyone? You want to ask Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. You want to give your heart the best gift, amen, thank you, that you can give to Jesus Christ today is your heart. That's the best gift that you can give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing else, nothing more. Thank you for those who raised their hands. Any more before I close. Amen. Salamat po. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. That was your heart. For those who raise their hands, and so said to us, people, today is the day of salvation. 
Today is the day of relationship to our Jesus Christ. This Christmas party is nothing if Lord Christ's name will not be lifted up. And this is an answer why you are here today. And this is the appointed time for you that you have to, uh, that you make your decision. And for those who raise their hands, follow me with this prayer. And this prayer that will lead you to a relationship to God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ. And follow me with this prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, I acknowledge that I am a sinner. I, I acknowledge that I, I am nothing in your sight, in your eyes. But thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ. He gave himself for me. And now, I want to acknowledge all my sin. And I want to confess before you. And forgive me for all what I did. And today, Lord, I want to open my heart. And I want to accept the Lord Christ as my Lord and Savior. And thank you, Heavenly Father, for the gift of salvation. And thank you for the eternal life. When that comes into my life, I know 100% this hope is because I have faith in Jesus Christ. Father God, thank you for those who raised their hands. So, Father God, thank you. In just name I pray. Amen. Amen. For those who raised their hands before the present worship lead us in our response. Today is the day of salvation for you. Remember this special day. This is your spiritual birthday. If you want to know more, you can talk to us after the worship service after the Christmas party.